Hi, welcome on my YouTube channel. I'm Enrica Andre. In case you are new, nice to meet you. In case you are here for a long time, welcome back. Today I want to talk about to talk about Christmas. First of all, I want to say Merry Christmas. I hope you you're gonna have a blessed time with your family, your friends, people around you. In case you don't have no one near to you, I want to tell you Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas doesn't mean uh, expensive gift doesn't mean uh, you are not loved it means the God put you a little alone because you need to stay alone a little <laughs> make sense to you for me yes <laughs> it mean um, maybe you need to stay far away from the people because they are a little toxic so maybe you need to work anyway doesn't matter what you're gonna do i want you to tell you merry christmas have a blessed time and uh, don't forget christmas is not about expensive gifts christmas is about jesus jesus been born yeah what's mean jesus is the person who come on this earth to sacrifice for us and um, to show us what's me love. Jesus actually haven't been in one religions. If you believe because the Bible talk about him is belonging to one religious, it's not. Believe me, it's not. If you want to call him Mohammed, I don't know, Jesus, whatever you want to call him, come on this earth. Jesus is just a person come on this earth to put the heart, the temple, and the mind to show to us. They give us knowledge, true of love, a lot of blessings to show us what is the reality so what's mean to hug a thief to make a blind to see and a lot of things what the jesus did what's mean jesus jesus is mean sacrifice sacrifice is mean you prove to the people what they did good or not karma or dharma <laughs> You choose which one. This is mean Jesus. If you didn't know what's mean Jesus, it means sacrifice. <sighs> Did you sacrifice in this life your all salary to go to the all roofless person on the streets to give food? Did you sacrifice your clothes from your wardrobe to give to the people who need clothes? This is mean Jesus. Did you sacrifice your food from your fridge to give to people food? To the, did you sacrifice, I don't know, as a woman, your bags to give to the children who didn't have bags? Or, I don't know, sacrifice something. When I was oh, in 2020, I was dying. I promise to the God, <laughs> I'm going to give gift to everyone when I'm going to become be better. It's okay. I, you're going to be better. I'm going to see if you did <laughs> your deal. So, yes, I did. I was have a huge wardrobe with bags, perfumes, clothes. So, I give to everyone. I send to everyone. Everywhere. <laughs> Family, friends. People on the streets, charity, everywhere. I declat and declat and declat and declat. Yeah, I did that. Food, clothes, perfume, makeup. And I'm still doing. <laughs> Sacrifice. Sacrifice your money to build empire. This is mean happiness. 
Did you feel good when you give to someone something what they deserved the most? This is me sacrifice. So you want to celebrate Christmas, celebrate Jesus, celebrate the sacrifice. The sacrifice. Sacrifice. Go to cook one day and give to everyone food. Go to buy something and give to everyone. In my case, I go to buy biscuits and give to everyone. My husband is saying, you make people diabetic. <laughs> I don't like to buy expensive things for the people. But I like to give small things to plenty people. Because I feel like that I can sp spread my love to everyone. For me to give sweets, biscuits, it's a silly things. But for me, it's meant a lot when I'm going to someone with a packet of biscuits. It's just the way how I am. I don't want to show you how rich I am because I want to go buy too expensive things to you. I'm going to show you I got love in my heart and I'm going to give you biscuits from me. <laughs> I don't know if it makes sense to you. For me, it makes sense. <laughs> so this is my Christmas. My mom is cooking all the time before Christmas, cooking, cleaning, tidy up. But every Christmas in the morning, she's sending food to another person. I don't know, people from near to the church, people from the streets, um, neighbors, people who need food. This is our celebration from years since I was young. I was going in the Christmas like that with bags, with food to everyone, to family. And sometimes I was giving food to the people who have more money than us. And, mm, okay, again, your mother sent us a lot of food and they was eating like that. <laughs> and they was have more, maybe 10 times more, more money than us. But my mom, she was have small salary, but it was given to everyone. And that's why I love her the most, because her kindness is so pure. My mom, she doesn't have too much money. But if my mom asks God, I want that, in one day she's going to have it. Because the God knows her heart. And I love that to her. I love that to her. Because she teach me, you know how many times I hurt in my life. I said, Mom, again Christmas, you know how much pain I got, got in my hands because I'm going to carry on a lot of food with everyone. Start morning. We need to help everyone. <sighs> yes, Mama, the, Mommy, but they are so heavy. No. Happiness is when you come home and you give to everyone food and after you can enjoy your food. Because you give first to everyone and after you're going to sit to your table and you're going to eat your food. That's why I don't like to stay to cook. <laughs> I used to cook before Christmas a lot and to spare to everyone around. That's why now I give biscuits, sweets. I'm going to buy it and give it. <laughs> I used to give to everyone a lot of things before Christmas, but I realized what the points. Because the people then are gonna appreciate it, what you've been doing for them. So I send it a small gift to you. Merry Christmas, and that's it. I'm gonna focus on people who actually need it. Believe me, this has been Jesus. This has been happiness. You know, a few days back, a woman. Her child was fighting between life and death. I was praying. And she was crying, crying. My first thing I went to hug her. To hug her. I tell her, go to go talk with the God. He's going to heal you. She told me she can't pray. I said, okay, don't worry. I'm going to pray for you. In that moment, I heard a voice inside of you, me, you say, I'm proud of you. 
you give what I've been teaching to give, your love. In that moment, I realized God is not about to give gift to everyone. God doesn't teach us to buy expensive Gucci, Versace, Louis Vuitton, Ferrari, expensive house to be someone in this lifetime. God teach us to hug the person who need to be hugged, to give a glass of water when the people are thirsty, to give a plate of food when they are hungry, and to pray for the people who need God. The God is not going to come in your life if you don't request, because He's a gentleman. He's not going to open the door because of a closed door for Him. He can do. He can do. But He's not going to come if you don't call Him. You want God in your life? Call Him. You want happiness? Find you. Yes, find yourself. Find what makes you happy. Fight with your demons. Every single day. I'm going to make a few videos, but not this year. <laughs> Maybe I'm going to find the motivation to write all my words about demons. A lot of things. I'm working on one video, but I recorded what I feel is not good enough. So I didn't express everything what I been know on that video. So I'm going to create another one about chakras, about our energy. So, you want to understand what means Christmas? It means Jesus. It means sacrifice. It means happiness. The God create a boy on this earth to sacrifice for us, to go to authentic ourselves. Did you celebrate that? Or you celebrate just you go to Christmas tree there? You know, actually, the Christmas tree is mean the light of the darkness, in case you didn't know. You know, all the time when the house didn't have lights because it wasn't in the past the electricity. So they was have candles. They was put candles in the tree, tree you know, with some clips, something like that. If you rem I don't know if you remember, but many, many years they was putting clips with candles in the Christmas tree. Because like that, you're going to find the light in the darkness. This is mean Christmas tree. Christmas or Christmas tree or Christmas tree is mean I try to find my light in my darkness. I try to find my happiness in my insecurity, in my demons, my angels between the demons. If you didn't know that. So I hope you understand what means Christmas. It's about Jesus. It's to find your happiness between the darkness, to find your love between hate, the light between the demons. So to find yourself between your addictions, to find yourself between, I don't know, <laughs> drugs, alcohol, sex, parties, to find your peace. This is mean Christmas. Yeah, Christmas party, alcohol, and a lot of things. No, 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 no. Christmas, go home when the heart is required. Go home to your family. Go home with your people who you love the most. This is mean Christmas. In case you didn't know, New Year, it's another thing. <laughs> so, yeah, if you enjoy the Christmas in the, the way how the God wants you to enjoy the Christmas, in, you need to clean the house, to clean because a lot of bad energy, they are in your house. That's why you need to clean the house before Christmas. To put the Christmas tree because you need to find the light in the darkness and to give food, kindness, love, happiness to people. The same how the Jesus to celebrate the Jesus because he come on this earth for us to sacrifice everything for us.
to become human again because we become demons, we become evil, we become toxic for the people around us. So don't forget that. What's mean Christmas for you? <laughs> no Gucci, no Versace, no Ferrari, no expensive uh, houses. Yeah, a warm bed when you are tired, a glass of water when you are thirsty, a plate of food when you are hungry, a clothes when you are cold because you need to cover your your temple. So this has been Christmas. I hope you understand. Anyway, Merry Christmas. Wish you all the best. I hope you understand. So take care about you. Bye.